What one woman is accused of doing with her child is a shocker. Tonight we are hearing from the woman who Dallas police say tried to sell her baby online. Brittany Hill is her name, and she says there's a lot of misunderstanding here. And tonight she wants to tell her side of the story. CBS 11's Carol Cavazos talked to her today. Carol's live for us at the Luce Derrick Justice Center with what she had to say. Carol. Doug, Brittany Hill is sitting in a ninth floor cell. She told me today she's ready for a plea deal, ready to put all of this behind her. Brittany Hill didn't want anyone to know who she was Friday, hiding under a blanket in 97 degree Dallas heat. Now she says she wants everyone to know her story. I never was trying to sell my child. Last week, Hill was accused of posting an ad on Craigslist, offering her four month old for sale. The Florida woman who responded backed out. When she felt that what I was saying was that I was trying to sell my child, I believe she did make a mistake. Hill says it wasn't a Craigslist ad either. It was a newspaper where she was looking for someone to adopt, not buy her child. Which newspaper? Oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. The ad isn't the only trouble Hill is facing. She was charged Friday with abandoning that same child inside an apartment. Her apartment manager found the baby home alone. Where were you? <sighs> I was literally outside. For 10 minutes, she said. Police told her they thought it was more like an hour. As for the adoption ad, Hill was reportedly trying to sidestep attorney fees. Aside from the fact that it's very technical, you have to dot every I and cross every T, even if you were smart enough to do that, uh, the child needs an attorney. Hill wishes she could take it all back now. It's kind of hard just being here and not having them, you know, not tucking them in at night and just not being able to go to bed and lay beside my fiance and just be happy like we were. The attorney I spoke with said there are a number of agencies out there, including the Dallas Bar Association, who would have set up this adoption for free. The only thing is, Brittany Hill would not have gotten any money out of it. Live in Dallas, Carol Cavazos, CBS 11 News. Carol, thanks very much. Tonight, by the way, we did call Child Protective Services. A spokesperson told us that she hadn't heard of a case like this happening in North Texas before.